Congregation it may seem like that it's uh, singing the same old song or harping the same old harp, but it's ever so true, as Toby said this morning. It's the blood of Jesus Christ. There's no other way around it. There's a group of people that that has figured out said church would be much more interesting and churches would be much uh, much more prosperous if they would get away from that old that old that old fable and, 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 and that old teaching. Said nobody understands that it's not the least bit attractive when they talk and all they're concerned about is being born again. And nobody would be in many more people would be interested if all they they didn't talk about the blood so much. But man, that's where we come from. That's where we come from was the blood of Jesus Christ. That's where we got where we are is through mercy and grace and being born again. Toby was talking about his children. Man, I'm telling you, and, and, and I know Tammy and I is not the same ones, but there's many in the church today that, you know, it, it, when we first started out, it seemed like that we wasn't going to have children or be able to have children. And so after, you know, after having to wait, Ronnie, y'all know what we're talking about. Man, we, 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 we had time and we was going to make perfect kids. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I, you've heard me say Zach was born on a Tuesday morning and he's so old when Zach was born, Kanawha Mall was a happening place. It had people in it. But anyways, we uh, after I made sure Zach was breathing okay and his heart was beating and everything was okay, I told Tammy, I said, I'm going to go home and get me a shower. I didn't tell her I had another errand to run first. I went to Canal Mall, got me a license plate made for my Ford Ranger. That's before I got right with God when I drove Ford. <laughs> got me a license plate and Zachary Ryan, number one. Got me a... Uh, a ball cap made, what did it say, Tammy? Great, the number one dad or something. Zachary Ryan's dad or something. Man, I had all the equipment now. That boy, I was going to make sure. I was going to make sure that, man, I treated him this right. And he was going to be the perfect kid. Do you know what? That boy wasn't very old at all. Chucky, till I found out he was a... Lion dog. You know what I mean? <laughs> you said, now wait a minute, preacher. No, you wait a minute. I'll prove it by the word of God. Turn to Psalm 58. Psalm 58. I found out that he, it, it, the first thing, Jonathan, that he done, and you did too, and Todd, you did too, and your kids did. The first sin that they beget, that they committed was to lie. I was looking at Blake and Amber's baby, their captain, when they brought beautiful thing. It ain't got the belly ache today and it's laying there. It's got pretty blue eyes like me and, and it was laying there and just so beautiful. But that sweet little thing, how old is it, Blake? Six weeks? Has it started lying yet? Huh? Not yet. Not yet. Give it just a few weeks and it will. Zach, he's so pretty. Them kids, I'll tell you what, if Zach and Jenna could change anything in our lives, they said we don't want to be a preacher's kid, especially Richard Harold, because he couldn't preach without using us as examples. Zach could start that. He figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. He figured out, Jinky, that when his diaper was dirty, all he had to do was go. <laughs> and one of us would come check on him. When he won another bottle, it didn't take him long to figure out Johnny Rollins. All he had to do was go. <laughs> Somebody would come running. 
Then he got to where he got tired of laying in his bed. He liked for daddy or mommy or somebody to carry him around. Yeah. I can't holler at him. I can't walk. But I can use that that I use when my diaper's dirty or when I'm hungry. <laughs> sure enough, they come running. And I won't leave Jim out. Sweet little Jim has so many people say, Y'all don't know her. <laughs> Jenna give herself away. Jenna started this. She put her hand, when she got ready to sin, she put her hand over her eyes. <laughs> if she was eating something she wasn't supposed to be eating, put her hand over her eyes, and buddy, nobody could see her. The Bible said we've all sinned and come short of the glory. Yeah, yeah. Parents, I've had parents to tell me since I've been preaching, my kids tell me anything. Man, if you believe that as a parent, I'd like to do some business dealings with you. Your kids go lie to you, like it or not. Oh, not mine. Boy, I'll tell you what, you're headed for destruction. Are you in Psalm 58? Verse 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born. Speaking what? Do you believe the word of God? The psalmist said... As soon as they be born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear. Explain that, preacher. Oh, trust me, I will. We can't help it. We're born into the flesh. We've got to be born, Brother Chucky, by the Spirit of God. The blood of Jesus Christ that cleanses us from all unrighteousness. Zach, we can't start a church that's got good educators and teach people how to live. Man, I'm telling you what, we'll still mess up. We can't set good examples before people. We can't be perfect parents. We'll still mess up and the, need the blood of Jesus Christ to apply to our hearts and lives. I read a true story one time right before they sing. This man had lost his son due to a rattlesnake bite. And he stood and he wept. And he told people, he said, my son died of a rattlesnake bite through my stupidity. Folks couldn't understand it. He said, I was so possessed with the idea of proving that we don't need God Almighty and we don't need what the church has to offer. He said, I was going to prove to people if they would do right, things would work out. This man wept and could hardly tell the story. He said, I got me two rattlesnakes, a male and a female. He said they was just little things. He said, from the time I got them, he said, I began to train them. He said, I began to work with them. He said, all the time, he said, I would take my finger and I would caress them. And said, they enjoyed it. He said, we developed a relationship with those snakes. That's weird. Good for him, bad for me. But he said, I would caress him. He said, I give him all kinds of attention. He said, they didn't have to go out and hunt rats and mice and, and, and bugs to eat. He said, every day I prepared them table food. He said, and I found out that their favorite thing was chicken. 
He said, I fed him chicken all the time. Of the morning, he said, I feed him twice a day. He said, I'd give him small amounts of chicken. Said they gobble it up. Evening time, I'd give him small amounts of chicken. And he said, I told people, said these snakes is different. Why? Because they had good leadership. He said, I couldn't change. Listen, I couldn't change their original being. He said, I was so convinced that my snakes was different. I was raising a new generation of snakes. He said, and I taught my children, don't fear those snakes are different. I know people will tell you. He said, but these snakes has been trained. He said, my snakes is like any other snakes. He said, one day in the backyard, one of them called then they rattled, and then they struck. He said, through my ignorance and my stupidity, it cost the life of my own son. He said, children, folks, a snake is a snake. Come on. Listen. We're lost. A human is a human. We'll mess up. We'll sin. We'll come short. And there's no way. I don't care. Man, we could. I had a manager at Kroger's one time. Uh, Jessica, I think, worked for him. I won't mention his name. But he got cancer and he began to study. Christian man. Prayed. Fasted. Somebody told him that if he would drink carrot juice that it would cure him of cancer. You know what I'm talking about? This man turned, and I'm not trying to be funny, I'm sincere. He drank so much carrot juice that he turned orange. Didn't he, Jessica? Guess what? It didn't cure him. A man that we grew up in church with as children had ulcers so bad he'd done everything possible. Somebody told him to drink rotten cabbage juice, and I'll call his name Ronald Purdue, one of the elders of our church when we were growing up. He said it helped it some, but it didn't cure it. I'm telling you, we can go to classes, might make us better people. Zach, we could go to some of the finest schools ever was, might make us better citizens. But until the blood of Jesus Christ God's Son cleanses us from all unrighteousness. We'll go to hell and be forever lost. Amen. We can attend the biggest churches, give the most in the offering plate, but until the blood of Jesus Christ has been applied to our hearts and our lives, we'll be lost. Heavenly Father, we come before you and we're so thankful, as Toby said, for your mercy and your grace. Oh my. It breaks our heart, Lord, when we think that our people, I know people that live, Lord, in just short distances from me. Good people, good neighbors, good moral people. I would trust with anything. But Lord, they've never confessed you as Lord and Savior of their life. And all the hard work, Lord, that they do to try to be good people and good citizens, they're still going to a place that they don't deserve. A terrible place called hell. Because the blood of Jesus Christ has not been applied to their hearts and their lives. God help us to realize. Help us, Lord, to keep telling folks, need to be saved, need to be born again. Maybe old-fashioned to the world. But we need Jesus more than anything in the world. We need to be saved more than we need houses and land. We need Jesus more than fame and fortune. So help us to work while it's day because night time's coming. Somebody in this building this morning needs to be saved. Somebody needs to be born again. And I pray that you would give them courage as they begin to sing this song.
to get up out of the seat, make their way down to an altar of prayer. It's in your name I pray. Amen. Some say we're cruel when we speak only the truth of the bloodshed for a mission. The Why don't you come? Why don't you give it to Jesus a chance that I'll not life? see? You've messed it up. You say, preacher, I'm ashamed that I've messed my life up. Listen, every you can't help yourself. That's why you need Jesus. That blood fall on me. Amen.